Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here then hello, my name is Zoe and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the world of makeup brushes. I'm going to be talking through the best makeup brushes for beginners and pros. Today I'm going to be talking you through my brush belts and my favourite brushes that I use on clients. I did a video like this, I say not long ago but I think it was quite a while ago now. The best affordable makeup brushes for beginners and pros which I will leave here. That was all well, drugstore and affordable brushes, I think. But today, there's a few high-end ones, but not many. Okay, guys, so this is my brush belt. I actually work for myself, and I have done for years and years, probably about six years now. So these that I, these are all the brushes which I have collected from the very beginning. I do have a few more, but I try to just keep in here brushes which I use, like, all the time. So this side here is all of my base brushes and like big fluffy brushes and then on this side is all of my eye brushes and like smaller detail brushes, lip brushes, brow brushes, all that kind of stuff. I do actually use all of these brushes depending on how many people that I'm doing in a day as well but there is that like cluster and handful that are my favourites and like I could not live without and they are what I'm going to talk you through today so I'm going to talk through all my favorite base brushes and eye brushes if you want like more in-depth videos on like my kit and maybe like makeup artist tips and stuff because it's not something that I actually do a lot on here then please let me know down in the comments I just don't know whether you guys would find that interesting but the makeup brushes I'm going to talk through today are perfect for beginners and professional so if you are not a makeup artist and you just like doing your own makeup I'll show you the ones which I think are really good especially for starting out if you are a makeup artist or really into makeup then maybe there's a few in here which you guys have not tried yet these are all my favorite base brushes I'm gonna start from like foundation to contour to powder because I think that'll be easier so I personally don't always apply foundation with a brush I actually do prefer it with a beauty blender but if for some reason I want to apply any creams first, either it be foundation, either it be like a liquid illuminator um, or something on the skin at first, I will use either of these. So these are really nice base brushes. So whether it is foundation or like a tinted moisturiser or something like that, I'll either use one of these three. So the first one is from Olivia Hale, which is actually a brand in Home Bargains. I use her makeup sponges as well to apply foundation. They are amazing. This is the foundation brush. It's a really nice like a buffer brush. The reason I do like this so much is because the bristles are so soft. Sometimes I feel like buffing foundation and things into the skin with quite a hard brush. Hard brush can be quite abrasive sometimes. You can either really buff like creams and liquid illuminators into the skin or you can just sort of tap like that and press it into the skin as well. And it's not like pokey, like the bristles are really soft. So that is the first one. The second one, which I think so many people own, is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I love this for like any creams, like base creams. You can use it to buff like that. Again, it's not abrasive or you can just pat over the top. I've got this in my own collection as well. I like to use this for when I'm doing no foundation and just like a cream bronzer all over or my MAC strobe cream, I love to apply it with this. And sometimes I will apply foundation with it as well. I just, my preferred method is a sponge. Another brush which I do like is the Eco Tools. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's a very flat and dense like buffer brush. This one I like to use more to like pat like product over the skin. You can get a really nice coverage with foundation. With this brush, just sort of patting it on until the foundation sets, you can really build it up. Again, I don't use these probably as much as my other brushes, but I do find that I do pick them up quite often. Moving on to contour brushes, these are the three which I use most often out of my whole kit. The one that I use the most, most often is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. This I absolutely love. Again, I use this all the time on myself. Um, I've got it in my own collection. It's just the perfect size and shape, I think, and it just works so well to buff out. It's tapered at the end, so you can really be quite precise with it. It blends product amazingly, and it does really keep you sort of concentrated in a specific area, so 
yeah, I absolutely love that one. The next one, which I also really like to use, is this Peaches and Cream PC18. It's a little bit smaller than the Real Techniques Contour Brush, but it's amazing for like buffing out your cream contour because it is so small, it makes you be really precise and neat with it and not blend out too far. So this is a really, really good one. The final one is again from Olivia Hale. This is their contour brush. This one is a little bit bigger than the Real Techniques contour brush. The oh, <laughs> the more that I've washed this, um, the more sort of poofy it gets, even though I do like pull my bristles into a shape when they're washed it does it has kind of puffed out a little bit the more that i wash it whereas the real techniques brushes and the peaches and cream brushes just dry exactly the same as like new bristles are a little bit longer anyway and it is a little bit um wider than the real techniques one but it works really well for buffing out product do you really like to use this for powders as well powder contour and blush as well this is a really nice brush for because it is that little bit fluffier, so it's nice to work with powders as well. But moving on to powder brushes, I've got a few favourites. The first one I'm going to talk about is a setting brush. Doing makeup on clients, I always set with a loose powder, with a sponge preferably, but sometimes I do like to go in with a like a foundation powder just to brighten the under eye a little bit or if someone is quite dry and they don't need like a really heavy setting sometimes I'll just like brush a little bit of powder on and for that I like this especially underneath the eye so this is the peaches and cream EC27 sometimes I do use this for contour as well but I just really like the shape for sort of packing on powder underneath the eye sometimes I'll use this with a loose powder literally just press it on and sweep it off again if someone doesn't need quite a heavy setting or if I want to use a brightening powder at the end underneath the eye this is really nice because it is small and precise I really like this one for that and I do also sometimes use this for contour as well just because it is sort of quite thin there and I can really get into um this contour area but not least is powder brushes these are my bronzer slash blush brushes that I like to use so the first one is this one and it's from a brand which I've not heard of before it's called Kala I actually got this in a set with it was this one and a couple of other powder brushes I've not heard of the brand before but I got it from TK Maxx it's shorter here and longer here you can really get if you just want to sort of build up your contour this works really well sort of tapping it in. I love this for blush as well because the shape of it works really well on the cheek and it is just that little bit smaller than like a big powder brush so you can really concentrate your blush where you want it. But again the shape of this does make it quite universal so you can really fit it into the shape of somebody's contour or you can also build up your blush and not think your blush is going to go everywhere it's just a really really nice base brush if I ever see another one of these I'll definitely pick it up this brand is lovely like they blend powders so nice so in the set came this one as well this is a larger face brush I mainly use this for bronzer because it's just a little bit bigger and I can really buff the bronze around and I also use this if I'm setting with loose powder sort of everywhere but I only want like a little bit I'll just pick up a little bit just off the excess and then just pat this all over just to take the tackiness away from the skin first and it's just a really nice sort of soft fluffy face brush the other one which I like to use which is a very um, similar shape really it's just maybe slightly smaller than this one this is the PC04 so again I'll use this mainly for bronzer and just buff it all over the skin I do love the peaches and cream brushes if you use any then please let me know because I never know which ones to get I haven't got any eye brushes of these so if you use these to do your eyeshadow let me know which ones so I can get them and moving on to eye brushes just picked a selection of what I use most often and I've tried to pick like one or two from each category to make like a basic collection so the first one is brow brush my favorite brow brush of all time is this one from NYX and it's got like a little spoolie on the end and then it's like an angled brush on this edge but the angled brush is so thin and just it just defines brows so nice I always find on eyebrow brushes 
they just make the tip of these way too dense and too thick. I like an eyebrow brush which is just really thin and really fine so you could almost, well you could do a winged eyeliner with this, it's that like thin and precise. So I will find out what it is and I'll leave it down in the description because I've not found an eyebrow brush better than this yet. Um, I just absolutely love it. I will try and just clean this in between every person so I can use it every time. If not, I do have a couple of others. After eyebrows, I'll move on to carving out the brow and applying my eyeshadow base. So I've got a couple of brushes here which I use. The first one is the MAC 242S. It's just a really flat sort of dome shape. The second one is this one from BH Cosmetics. This came in a set. It just says number six. I'm not sure whether that's the name of the brush or whether it was just number six in the set which I got. But again, it's just a very flat dome shaped brush. These two are very good for carving out the brow and patting on your eyeshadow base. These are also what I use for cutting the crease as well. They're just the perfect shape and they're just really flat and precise. So these are what I use for that as well. So again, I'm using the same brush for sort of multiple things, but these are the main two. I have got a couple of others which I use, but these are the main two which I find easiest to use. Okay, so moving on to blending brushes. I've got loads of blending brushes. I always end up picking up the same ones. So the first ones which I like, I'd say are my favourite are the Morphe M443 and the, what is it, the MAC 217. So this is the MAC one and these two are the Morphe ones. I have got multiple of each of these but I just thought I would show you close up. To be fair they're pretty much identical, there's not much difference between them. These are absolutely amazing for your transition shades or your buffing and blending. I do like to have as many blending brushes as I can possibly collect because when you're doing somebody else's makeup you're genuinely picking up like maybe two or three different transition shades, maybe even more. So it's nice to have one for each colour so you don't have to keep on washing them and cleaning them in between um, it just makes you a little bit slower so it's nice to have quite a few I absolutely love these for blending through the crease they blend amazingly I like them both uh, both brands just exactly the same other blending brushes which I like through the crease I find these a little bit bigger than the other ones these are the Weaver 227 looks soft definer and they are definitely very soft they're absolutely gorgeous these ones are really really nice for buffing out i'll probably use these for like my first transition shade so i can blend that out a little bit further and then go smaller the sort of darker i go and the more precise that i go my smallest blending brushes that i've got are these ones this one is a makeup geek brush again the names come off i've had them for so long and so has the paint on it as well but the brush still works amazing just a little bit smaller and a little bit more precise so i can get right into the socket and the other ones that i use quite often are these from bh cosmetics again these came in a set so it just says number eight on them so you can be a little bit more sort of concentrated in one area with these i always pick these up when i do want to get a bit more precise in the socket or sometimes underneath the eye as well because they are just a little bit thinner. Yeah, always picking those ones up. When it comes to packing on your eyeshadow, whether it be pigment, just a shimmery eyeshadow, I always pick up these ones. This one is the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush. It's just really flat and it's like in a dome shape as well. This one is again from BH Cosmetics and it says 9 on but it's from the same set as those ones I just showed you. But if I've done a cut crease or anything and I want to be really precise with my pigments these work great. They just really pack it on without blending it in places which you don't want so I always pick them up for like lid shadows. Going eyeliner this is my ultimate favourite brush it's the MAC 263 and it's just so thin and so fine I love how this side is like really quite short and it goes to such a nice point on this side you can get such an amazing wing with this and it is really easy to use you can literally just sort of stamp it on it literally doesn't work for you when it comes to winged eyeliner um, it's just so so thin which is why I absolutely love. So that is the MAC 263. Then finally for under eye brushes to sort of smoke everything out, I'll use either of these. So the first one is a pencil brush. This is from Sigma. Again, I've had this for so long, the name has run out. Ran out? Ran? 
not rubbed off <laughs> the name was rubbed off so i'll find out what it is and i'll put it in the description but i've had this for so long and it cleans amazing it's always kept in the same shape and it's really nice for sort of buff smoking out shadow or smoking out any liner on the top absolutely love this i like to use this mac 212 brush to just really define the under eyes if i sort of smoked out underneath and i want to really define like the lash line and just pack on like a black or a dark brown i'll use this because it's really precise and you can use it to really deepen up the under eye i'll also use this to smoke out any liner on the top and I like to use this to sort of hide the lash band. So I'll pack on a little bit of black shadow after I've put the lashes on with this. And then finally, my favourite brushes of all time for a smoky under eye are these from Morphe. These are the M149 brushes. I wouldn't say they were pencil brushes because they're not as dense as that. They are quite fluffy even though they're very small. Um, but they're perfect for like really smoking out the under eye. But not sort of blending your product too far out they're just absolutely amazing i use them all the time so i think that might be it so those are the brushes which i pick up most often when i'm working i think i've gone through all of them if you do have any questions then let me know in the comments or if there are any makeup brushes which you've got and you think are amazing then please let me know so i can go and have a look at them really hope you did like today's video i know it was a little bit different let me know if you did down below and give it a thumbs up as well if you did don't forget to subscribe as well and I will see you in my next one. Bye.